In this lesson, we'll explore how to update your MB firmware and the options available. Since there can be a gap between the manufacturing and installation, it's very important to install the latest firmware update as a first step in every installation. This ensures you have all the important updates and any fixes from the very start. With your MB connected to the internet, open any MB menu and see if you're prompted about an available update like you see here. If not, double check your firmware version by accessing the MB firmware menu. We covered how to do that in a prior lesson. With the notification on screen, we can simply press the green button, as shown here, to jump straight to the update function in the firmware menu. But before we do, notice how the yellow and red buttons can be used to suppress future notifications, should you wish to do so. Let's press the green button to jump right into the firmware update option. Notice how the current firmware version is displayed at the top of this firmware menu. We're currently on beta build 18013, and as you can see, dot 15 is available. Notice how you can see what's new right in this screen here. Also notice how you can easily scroll backward to review and install older versions should you ever wish to roll back to an older update. Let's go ahead and install dot 15. Simply select it, press OK, and then confirm. Most updates take literally just a few seconds like you see here. And just like that, the firmware update is completed. Now, let's double check things by going back to the firmware menu. You can see we're now running beta build 18015. Note that the Envy will never install an update automatically, which ensures you're in control of when or even if updates are installed. Now, I talked a moment ago about the ability to roll back to older versions. I'll demonstrate this now by rolling back to dot 13. As you can see, we're now running on that version. It's also important to understand our approach to firmware updates, so let's talk about that for a moment. We prioritize the stability and reliability of the Envy by offering updates at various stages of their maturity. This approach allows you to choose between early access to new features and fixes or waiting for thoroughly vetted releases. To explore more, let's take a look at the desired firmware type option. We have stable builds, release candidates, beta builds, and experimental builds, each catering to different user preferences. Experimental builds are perfect for users eager to test out the latest and greatest enhancements, knowing these builds may have some rough edges initially. Once an experimental build is stable, it is promoted to a beta build, offering a balance of early access and reliability. Once beta builds have proven stable, they are then promoted to stable builds, which is the best firmware type for those prioritizing stability over everything else. When setting up the Envy, be sure to set the build type to the option that best suits your preference. This setting controls which updates appear under the Update Firmware option and which updates you'll receive on-screen notifications about. We find that a large number of customers actually set their preference to experimental builds, while many others choose beta builds. Running experimental or beta builds on a production system may sound a bit unconventional, but these builds are usually very stable, and with our fast rate of innovation, our customers are often eager to try out our latest and greatest, especially since it's so easy to roll back to a firmware update if you ever need to do so. Now, let's discuss the settings that control notifications about updates. The Show Notification menu offers three choices. The When Menu is Open option is the default. This is the most popular because it's an on-screen notification that will never interrupt your viewing experience. Instead, the next time you open an MB menu, the notification will appear only then. There's also an Always option, which will display the notification as soon as an update is available. Lastly, use the Never option if you prefer never to receive any on-screen notifications about firmware updates. This is a good option for dealers who do not want their customers to be alerted about updates and instead plan to use a remote access feature to periodically install updates for them. Well, this completes our review of how to install the MB firmware updates and how to choose a build type best suited for you. Now, 
it's time to move on to our next lesson.